what is the biggest barrier to reentry in Northwest Arkansas? So, yeah, so we'll start with Marty. And Sorry. No, no, go, go for it. Uh, we have people that get out of, in, uh, out of incarceration. We have clients that come into our office and are so eager to get out and get to work. Um, and they do not have any identification. Now, what I've heard and what some people have told me is, let's say someone is picked up for a crime. They go to a county jail. Whatever they had in their wallet is put into a box. If somebody doesn't come and pick up what they had in their pocket, when they go into incarceration from there, they don't have it any longer. They, that, that county jail will only hold it for a certain period of time. So when that person goes into incarceration and they get out, they have nothing. And especially if they have been um, born in another state, there are some states that it's really difficult to get their birth certificate from. So we have them and there is multiple steps. Now, it will take us anywhere from three weeks to three months to get two forms of ID and fit this person to work. Do y'all know what kind of trouble they're getting into in that amount of time? They're discouraged and they're mad and they're fed up. They said, I tried, I can't do this. And they go right back to where, you know, what got them into trouble. Yeah, um, touch on that real quick, but then the other thing um, is that we know uh, Arkansas Community Corrections and Department of Corrections are working on that. And But right now, with the resources they have, they're just capturing a very small amount of folks that are coming out to get them the photo IDs and the driver's license. So. Uh, we need to get the proper funding to expand that to make sure everybody walking out the door has two forms of ID that they can walk and get it. They can go get a job. They can get their lights turned on. They can, you know, just the very basic things we expect that they're going to have to survive if we didn't prepare them. Just with the documentation that we've arrested them because we believe that's them. We've then had them serve years in prison because we believe that's them. And then when they get out, we go. I'm not sure if you're you. <laughs> so that, that's a struggle that our staff faces for all of our folks. We have 50 guys um, that we work with every 90 days living in our building, and every one of them is dealing with that struggle. Um, but the other big thing in Northwest Arkansas in particular is housing. Um, if 3% of all rental properties in Northwest Arkansas are open, that means everyone is buying for 3%. And if you get 100 applications, for your one apartment, you make more on the application fees than you do rent in your apartment. If you keep one apartment open at all times, you can bank off application fees. And you don't have to say, I won't rent to you because you're a felon. You, you can tell them after they pay you the fee that is non-refundable. It doesn't matter if you've been out for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. You still don't get your money back. Um, so that, that's our biggest struggle right now. We've got people that every 90 days are completing our program and walking out of the door, and they're going to day pay motels because there are no other rental properties open. And right now, they're averaging, it's usually between eight and $1,200 a month at those day rate motels. They just have a bed, no kitchen, no nothing, and it's not a good environment, so that's a huge need. 